good wind today. Anyway, I'm going to show you a little discovery that I I made here. Um, this turbine is connected to a battery bank with one leg to a charge controller. The other leg is going to a charge controller also with built-in rectifier, a mini 600 watt rectifier charge controller, all in one. And then it's connected to a grid tie inverter. And I was going to experiment on something. I tried it out and I got a result that surprised me. When I turn off the grid tie inverter to simulate the commercial power failure, this turbine slow down and the leg that is connected to the battery bank did not produce any current it slows the turbine down and uh, that is one good thing so in case I have to connect the full turbine to that charge controller two charge controller it would it would be and then to a grid tie inverter it means that if I have a commercial power failure it will slow the turbine down and not produce any current in other words the, those charge controllers are sensitive and um, intelligent to to know that there is a, a commercial failure and it will control the way the turbine will race away and slow it down and probably put on some brakes in it and um, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's flip around here and right into this connection here. And this is the charge controller with the built-in rectifier that I'm talking about, 600 watt. And um, it's connected to that grid time inverter. This is one leg of it coming straight from the, the, the tower into the DC part here. So you, you take the AC from here, the wild AC feed, and convert it to DC. So 24 volts DC. Pull it right there. And then from the DC, that rectifier, that um, grid tie inverter takes that DC and produces AC output and right into the grid. Now, keep an eye on this other leg here that is coming from the same turbine. And I'm going to switch the... I'm going to switch off the grid tie inverter to simulate that commercial AC failure. I'm going to switch it off right now. It's flying down the turbine. See no current coming in now. Absolutely no current coming in on the other side. And I think that's a good idea. But I'm not too sure if I really like it. So, I'm going to switch it back on now. Oh, oh, let's look at the, the turbine and see how well it's spinning there. See? I don't know if I can tell if um, the revolution changed, but um, surely not, no current coming in off of this turbine here. So let's um, let's switch it on again. Let's switch this on again and then look and then look right over here and see what's happening. Alright, see? 
that's the current so in fact what is happening half of the power out of this wind turbine is going to this battery and the other half is going towards the the grid tag so as soon as the wind picks up again and it starts to produce enough current you will see that Wind is picking up, so you see some current going. Oh yeah, right there. So that, that is for the record. Um, just want to make a, a historical record of that. And this tube sine wave inverter is also connected to that same battery bank that is powered up. So if I, if I just switch it on. I'll switch it off. I'm not using that's my off grid um, inverter. I'm not using it right now because I'm grid tie, so save some battery resources for the real power failure. Anyway, that's my little observation there for now, and I will keep it posted with more.